Hi, I'm Richard Byrne. In this video, I'm going to show you the three top mistakes that teachers make when creating quizzes in Google Forms. I've been helping teachers do this for more than a decade, and these are the three things that I see come up all the time. So let's take a look at what these little problems are. We can see my sample geography trivia quiz that I have here, and I have just a couple of questions in here. Now, the first mistake that I see made quite frequently is releasing answers right away. Now, there are some cases where you'll wanna do this, but in most cases, you want to wait until every student has taken the quiz before anyone gets to see their answers. So let's go into our settings and change from the default immediately after submission to later after manually reviewing all of the responses. And you'll see that when you do that, that's going to by default collect email addresses. Now, if you create the quiz from inside of Google Classroom, don't worry because you'll also be automatically collecting those email addresses. Now, the second mistake that I see commonly made is forgetting to assign a point value to a question. And while that's not a huge problem, it can be a really annoying problem to have to go back in and manually adjust scores because you forgot to assign a point value to a question, which is why I always set a default point value for all of my quizzes. Now, once you've set this and saved it right here in your preferences, you'll always have a minimum number of points assigned to every question in your quiz. In my case, I have it set at five. You might want to set it at 10, 25, or 100. Doesn't matter as long as you set some point value in there. Now, another mistake that's often made if you are not using Google Classroom is forgetting to collect student names. Now, if you are using Google Classroom and you are creating a quiz from inside of Google Classroom, this won't be a problem for you. But if you're using Google Forms in another capacity without Google Classroom, you'll want to make sure you add in a question to get the student names and say, you know, your name right at the top. Make that a short answer and make that a required question. And in your answer key, we're just going to make that zero points because it's, in this case, we're not going to grade that particular item. Now, there is a fourth thing. Let's consider this a bonus item here. And it deals with bonus questions. If you're like me, you like to add a fun bonus question, bonus points opportunity to the end of a quiz. So let's say we're doing this right now. I'm gonna put in a fun bonus question like, how much would, would a wood chuck chuck if a woodchuck could chuck wood. And I want my students to just take a stab at it, just guess at it, put, in, put an answer in here. Now, I'm going to make that not a required question because I don't want my students to feel like they have to answer the bonus question. I want them just to try it. And so I'll even write in here that it's a bonus question. How much wood would a woodchuck chuck if a woodchuck could chuck wood? And again, I have that turned off, so it's not a required question. And you can even put in a little description here and say that this is just a bonus you don't have to answer it. It won't count against you if you get it wrong. And now we're ready to share this quiz with our students. So those are some features of Google Forms 
that sometimes people get wrong when creating a quiz using Google Forms. As always, for more things like this, please check out freetechforteachers.com or subscribe to my YouTube channel.